Hello everybody, it is Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. I'm getting everything set up to make sure I've got everything set up. <clears throat> okay, here we go. -la -la -la. I'm trying to do this uh, with the camera facing down so that you can see what I've got here. And I just realized I need to see this over here. Okay, so I went to an estate sale today and I picked up some jewelry and I spent $85. So I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see if this zooms in for you, just like it does for me. Um, if we'll make my money back, but I'm pretty sure I will. I'm pretty happy with what all I got. So let's jump into it. If you're new here, welcome. Uh, my name is Margaret. I do videos about how to make money online. And most of the way I make money online is by reselling. Uh, but I do some other things too. I resell on Etsy and eBay and I do a lot of jewelry. I am getting into other things now as well. But anyway, so um, hello in the chat. I am live. Hi, Dan and Jennifer and Sonia. Thanks for coming. Um, what else was I going to tell you? I felt like I was going to tell you something else before I got started. Oh, uh, no, I can't remember. Well, I haven't been live in a while, so <laughs> uh, that's probably the reason. So anyway, I spent $85 at this estate sale. The estate sale said they had, um, the lady had an either a booth in an antique store or she ran an antique store, uh, but either she had passed away or was put in, um, had to go live somewhere else. And so her kids were selling all this stuff. So I think we got some really great prices and I looked things up. So I will have some information about some of the pieces that I'm going to share with you guys today. And the reason, oh, I remember now. The reason I only spent $85 is because they didn't take checks. They ta they um, took cash only. So it was cash only. And before we get started, because I know I'm going to get comments. I know I need to get my nails done, okay? So <laughs> I it just, yeah, it's time. I got kids, whatever. All right, so here we go. First up, we have this piece that ended up being a, let's find it over here, a Peruvian piece uh, i've lost it up already there we go um vintage peruvian sterling silver piece and when i looked it up and i can't share it because i can't screen share while i'm on my phone but it um i couldn't find the same exact one so it's sterling silver and 18 karat gold and it's marked on the back and you can still see the tags from when she had it in her booth i paid well i ended up paying less than what i'll tell you because it, it averaged out to be more, or, and so, but I didn't have enough cash. And so they said, okay, just give us 85 bucks. So I said, okay. So they had it for $36, but I, th I think I paid five for this one, five bucks. But here it says 925 and 18K. So it can be worn as a brooch and it can be worn as a pendant, which is super cool. And so the one that I'm seeing, I see one up on Etsy right now with like a alpaca or a llama or something. And it's uh, $65. But then I see another one with like a face, um, an Incan god warrior type face for $37. And then there's another one up that's like $170. So the prices are kind of like, whoa, all over the place. So chances are that I'll probably list it in that $60 range and just see where it goes from there. So with one piece, I'll probably make close to most of my money back if it sells for that. Again, I like to list high to start with because you can always bring the price down. Um, if it sells really fast when you've listed it for a, a low price, then you go, you might kick yourself. I do anyway. Okay. Oh, thanks on my nails. I know. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Brenda was saying my nails were just fine. Thank you so much for that. All right. So next, yeah, all the pieces I got are really nice. Um, I'm going to leave it. I don't know if I can leave it where you'll see it, but anyway, uh, they had such unusual pieces, so I was really happy to, to spend the money. So the next piece is this butterfly brooch. Let me get my fingers out of the way. Uh, and it's, it was, I think this one I paid five bucks as well. Some of the tags ended up being helpful. I guess she had it listed for 22, uh, but I looked this one up. What was it marked on the back? It was marked just sterling on the back on the wing there. And I couldn't find one just like it, but I found some that were bigger on Etsy. Um, 
And what I was seeing was, and, and on any of these, if you have information that you want to share, I would love to hear it because, you know, yeah, I did the best I could looking things up on the fly. Um, so what I'm seeing on some that are kind of similar, however, bigger, um, some of the keywords I saw were like old pawn and then Native American, because I can see that kind of stylized, you know, the Native American style, Southwest style. Um, what was another one that I saw? I, I have to look that up because that's one that I'm, yeah, I see a couple of them that are, that look similar to this. And I wonder if there used to be a stone in it. No, maybe not. Um, but I don't know a whole lot about that genre that they said that, that they can tag it old pawn. So I'll have to check that out. But anyway, um, so this brooch, I mean, the ones that are bigger and more ornate that look like my butterfly are in like hundreds, you know, one was $197, one's $185. Mine is much smaller and doesn't have a stone. It's less intricate. So I'm guessing around the $30, $35 mark to start is where I'll go with that. Unless I get more information. It was in her antique booth or mall, whatever. It looks like 22 bucks. So that's that one. We'll stick that over there. All right, next up, are you ready? Hi in the na in the chat. I say hi in the nails. I'm reading in the chat and saying hi at the same time. Okay, I'm gonna have to hold him so the glare doesn't reflect off of his cover. Let me see who else is in there. Go over there and hit that thumbs up. Um, how do I know it's not a moth? Good question. I don't know. I'll probably put both. Right. <laughs> it's not furry. Let's see. Butterfly is a stamped manufactured piece, not Native American. Oh, okay. Thank you. I will definitely. Do a little digging on it. I appreciate anything. Hello. Okay, so next I've got this um, antique frame brooch. And it's got, you know, really dapper young man in there with his bow tie. I'm trying to hold it so that the light is not creating a glare for you. And then on the back, you can see this copper has started to oxidize there on the back. But it is old. Uh, I'll link down below later a site that you can date brooches based on the clamp or the clasp. So this is a C clasp, and so this um, kind of helps you date it. And I of course forgot to pull it up to sh tell you what the dating would be on that. But that's a C clasp. I'm gonna have to see about cleaning up that oxidized um, copper that I see there. So that's something else that I'm gonna need to do. So this one, oh, the little sticker fell off the back of it. Um, I paid five bucks. I guess, I don't know if it was originally 45 and they just scribbled over the four or what. Oops, let me stay. I have it zoomed kind of in. So if I get to where it's out of the screen, you'll have to tell me. All right, so let's see this guy. Oh, I'm so glad. Carol says she learns a lot um, from the Facebook group. She's talking about our, uh, I have a group called Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers. I'm also on Facebook, just Texas Gal Treasures, if you are um, interested in following me there. Decorating yourself says, look at the tube hinge on the brooch. I'm looking at the tube hinge on the brooch. I'm guessing you're meaning there. So there. Okay. Then, um, whoa, what is the cover? I think when I tap it, it sounds... It doesn't sound like glass, however, it's not flexible like I would expect a plastic one to be. If it's plastic, it's really thick. I don't know. I'll have to see if I can take it out. Do you think it's a reproduction? I don't think it is. I don't know. I mean, I'll do a little digging on there. Okay, so it doesn't sound like, what do you think? I don't know. It's not, I would think if it was a flimsy plastic, it would be, you know, pushing in when I press on it, but it's not. So, huh. okay, next up. Oh wait, I did look this up. So if he ends up being a, you know, as I clean him up and do all this stuff for him, there are some, there are some, ah, I just closed the window, darn it. That's what I get, closing things too fast. There are some up that are in the $20 or more range, just kind of depending on the quality. So with this, having this 
oxidized and it's copper. Um, I can clean it up, but we'll see how, we'll see. I have to kind of dig. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking probably in that same like $20 range, depending on what else I find out about it. Again, I just did research on the fly. Okay, so I have another one. Again, that one was also $5. And this one's got a little baby in it. The frame is not as ornate, but it seems better made, if that makes sense. Okay, so, and like this one, I don't, I wouldn't think it was gold or gold fill. I don't know. It just doesn't, it seems like that repousse is really just like machine done. But this one seems, look at the coloring. Like this one seems like it might be more like a gold plated or gold filled. I'll have to look at it closer to see, but just based on the coloring. Um, but we've got a sweet little baby here, and this, I think, might be a plastic, just based on that little scratch right there, covering. But it also has a C-clasp on it, and that one was listed. She had it up, or she had it for 50 bucks. But it'd be interesting to find out, like, if I pried it open and looked inside. I don't want to mess it up, but then I, what if there was something really cool behind the baby picture? You know what I mean? It just makes you wonder. Okay. I am looking in the chat real quick. Decorating yourself says, so Guy Lockett, he looks like he's from the 20s. Yeah, I could see that with his bow tie and his, his hairstyle. I'll have to do a little, a little digging on men's hairstyles, right? Cute baby. So that one was $5 and I am going to have to see what else I can find out about this one. Because even though it's not... I don't know. Yeah, I'll have to do a little more digging. But the baby one, um, probably, well, that says, I mean, you can't go off of these prices. I can't go off of these prices. But it kind of gives me a heads up, like, oh, maybe I need to take a second look at that. I might be missing something. All right, let's see. Um, what am I going to use to clean it? That's a good question. I'll have to look that up, too. So cleaning the oxidized, I know there's a name for that, patina off of copper. Oh yeah, the baby birch, the, I thank you for pointing that out too. Um, on, on the site that I'm going to share with the C clasps, it does talk about brooch, um, the words, the pin part that comes across. If it extends out past the edge of the brooch, that's another indication of date. Thank you for reminding me to talk about that flow. So like uh, on this guy, you can see like the brooch the pin is shorter and it stops, you know, before the edge, but hers is extends out so that's another indication of date so I will definitely keep that in mind as I darn it I wish I had pulled that side up now but of course I forgot but I'll link it <laughs> later okay so next we've got these earrings and these are some grapes again five bucks I have to average everything out because I know some of them, it says five bucks, but they, they cut me a deal and dropped the price because I didn't have enough cash. So these are some grapes and they are, there's one of them is marked and the other is not. And I did find some very similar. So this is the back on these, this, uh, let me make sure you can see it. Tell me if I'm going too fast. I feel like I'm going fast. All right, take a look at these while I grab my, the right tab. I have the wrong tab open right now. She had $17.50 on them. And let me close out of these tabs real quick. Hi, everybody in the chat. Thank you for coming. Okay, here we go. Um, so they, they are marked FAC. And I, I had trouble reading. Oh, even if I get the loop, I'm not sure you'll be able to see it. Because it's kind of curved. I mean, it's made in Mexico. Yeah, you can't see that. Um, FAC 925, and I kept thinking maybe it's FAS because that means fused alloy silver, but it's not. It's definitely a C. So um, I looked it up, and I did find some that were similar, but they didn't have the same style of earring on this part right here. So where'd they go now? The ones I saw were, you know, about 25 bucks around in, the, in that price range. So we'll see, I might, uh, I'm looking again, because I feel like I saw another pair that were a little bit closer. 
but I, I might do that. I might put them up around $25. So there's those. Good deal, good deal. Okay, and how's, I can't see both screens, so I'm not sure. I'm gonna scoot these out of the way. Scoot, 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 scoot. You too, you go over there. I'm trying to keep the tags with them, so if I do more research later. Okay, you ready for a really cool one? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Um, decorating yourself said in selling with sterling you should also be weighing in grams because it's a precious metal for sure yeah that's a good tip and I'm I'm trying to remember to read out loud the comments because I get that some sometimes people say that watch it later oh, I don't know what they're saying in the chat read it out okay no problem okay I'm looking here in the chat hi hi everybody thanks for coming we have 46 friends watching. Go over there and hit the thumbs up. This is one that I knew I was going to walk out with. I was like, this baby is coming with me. So one, I have a thing for horseshoes, if you don't know. I have a horseshoe on my wall right over my table. Um, that was actually one of my grandmothers. She rode rodeos in the 40s. So I don't know. I just have a thing for horseshoes. But this one is special. It's got this polo, I don't know, polo stick. I'm sure there's another word for it. Racket? Polo racket? The thing is that it's not marked, okay? So I'm going to test it and I'm seeing this white kind of residue, which I'm not 100% sure what's going on with that. So maybe it's plated, I don't know. I'm gonna have to test it and I don't know about that residue. Um, but she had $45 on it. And when I looked it up, I found, let's look at the clasp here, okay, so one, the class, we've got this C class, okay, because that's going to help us as well. The, the stem of the, the pin comes out a little bit, and as you can see, it's kind of kinked as well. So it might have been bent back a little bit on purpose to keep it from poking out further. So it might have, I mean, this is just my speculation. Can you see that, that kink right there? So it does a little bit still poke out, but it probably poked out more. And the thing is, is that I see two um, horseshoes that look really, really similar to this one, except without the polo, what do you call it? <laughs> Racket, mallet, stick, whatever. But they're like crazy expensive. So it makes me kind of wonder. One of them is like $260 and then the other one is 125 and it looks really similar and they're they're um labeling them victorian horseshoe brooches so i one need to do a little more searching on that i need to make sure i know what this residue is i need to test it another thing i'm not 100 percent sure about are the holes i'm not sure that that would be that that would follow with the age that I think it is. No, this one's got it too. Okay, I'm looking at the Victorian one that's on Etsy right now, large silver Victorian horseshoe brooch. And it's got the, the two little holes as well. Okay, so, boop, boop, boop. saddle riding crop. Yeah, that's a possibility too, but I, I think it's for polo because it's got the, the cord on it, you know, so they don't drop it or if they drop it, they can like rail it back in. Um, so, if this ends up being what I'm hoping it is, then it might go for over $100. But I had a feeling when I saw it, just being what it was, so unusual. <clears throat> and if you're new, I, I have got a lot of new subscribers lately. Hi, welcome. Um, one of the things, if you're looking for jewelry, if you're like, I don't know what to look for, for in jewelry, one, one thing that I would say is look for figural stuff that's like a horseshoe or grapes or animals. Like you'll see some more. I have some more that's figural creatures like butterflies. You know, that's a, there's somebody that's got a thing and they're willing to buy the thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, that was so clear. Oh my gosh. So I know they had it for 45, but if I do a little more digging and find out more about it, it might end up getting listed for you know, over a hundred dollars. I'm not, I'm not afraid to do that. <laughs> Why would I be? That's just silly. All right. So I was really excited about that one. That might, that might be one of my favorites from here. Um, decorating yourself says Victorian Julie is always symbolic. Google what horseshoes means. Yeah. I, I, I have my, I know the, the symbol of good luck and I know there's more to it than that, but, but then again, you think about it, there was a lot in that, that time period, there was a lot of, um, 
I don't want to say mysticism, kind of mysticism. There was a big, in that sort of Victorian Edwardian time, you know, a lot of, um, you know, seances and things like that. Not that I'm saying this is, but I, I could see like having something that would be a good luck charm. Oh, that moves a little bit. That, that piece moves in there. Okay, that's cool. That makes it even cooler, I think. It's kind of hooked on through a little ring over there. So if you wiggle it, it moves around. Not that I want to break it, but um, there's that. Okay, so next, let's see. Am I looking? Which, oh, okay. Peyton is saying, check the pin shaft for marks. Are you talking about this one? Here's the thing too, like, is the pin replaced? Let me, let me grab my loop because I didn't do that. That's a really good... I was kind of like hurrying to get on here to talk to y'all because Randy's taking care of the kids. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I've got two seconds to come say hi. Hello, I haven't talked to y'all live in a long time. I didn't see anything on it. So I will, what do y'all do? Those of you that have, are of a certain age, I'm getting to be of a certain age. Like suddenly my loop, it, it starts to give me a headache looking through my loop okay <clears throat> i don't know why but it does all right next up we have hang on i'm closing out of some things i couldn't find this but this was another one that i was like baby you are coming home with me all right so talk about figural this has got a really cool design let me kind of just leave it i can't because it's not catching it just like that okay so can you see it okay so what we've got here is this really nice sterling brooch. It is marked sterling right there. And it's super clean. And it's got, I mean, it's got a lot going on. It's got a lot going for it. So it's definitely got a really cool art deco design with the, gosh, I'm gonna have to hold it because it keeps flopping back and forth. So it's got the cool art deco designer on the top and the bottom. And then it's got these four dogs lined up. And when I searched for it, Originally, I just put um, spaniel, you know, because I thought, well, maybe it's a cocker spaniel. Maybe it's a, I don't know, but it kind of looks like a pointer, too. So I'll need a little help with the dog breed because that will, one, okay, so it's got, when you're looking at jewelry, too, especially my newbies, um, if you can find more than one, like, audience for it, that's a big plus, right? So this one has got people that are, people that are looking for Art Deco jewelry, people that are dog lovers, people that have a certain breed of dog. So this has got a ton going on for it. And then it's also long, so it'd be like a collar, like you could wear it at the at your collar, you know, of your shirt. So what else does it say on here? I think this was one of the more expensive pieces. It was at $10, but again, I didn't pay. See, that's what I thought, Ohio Gremlin. I thought it looked like a Cocker Spaniel, Rhiannon says, looks like an Irish setter. So yeah, I'll just have to kind of, it was the ears, you know, those ears that they have those curly, I don't know about the tail. I never had a Cocker Spaniel, so. And then it's got the normal style. It doesn't look that old, that's the thing. So I know it looks like Art Deco, but I don't know, just the way it's made, it, it looks like it's more new. I'm not, I mean, I don't think it's, I think it's still vintage for sure. But, and then look how shiny that is. I mean, for, whew. and there is a mark before the sterling, but it's so tiny. I can barely see it. It looks like a S in a circle or something like that. Where is my magnet? Anyway. Oh no, Peyton, I'm so sorry. She said she lost her cocker, cocker spaniel about a year ago. Oh, yeah. Isn't that sweet? That's a sweet brooch. So yeah, I was like, this one's coming home with me. That was another one that was almost a favorite. This one might be the favorite. Well, we'll see. You'll see there's some more. Okay, so this one, I couldn't find one just like it. Um, and I wish you could see my research that I have pulled up, but yeah. Yeah, I know I didn't polish it. Rihanna says, if you didn't polish it, it's probably rhodium plated. Probably, yeah, because I totally didn't. There's like not a stitch of, there's some wear on it, like some gunk, but it's not um, tarnished. Yeah, there's no tarnish on it. So I got to find out when they started rhodium plating things. 
I gotta look that up because I don't know that. Because that would probably help me date it too or know when it's not. You know, it's gotta be after this date because that's when they started really rhodium plating things. However, it does have that Art Deco style. So, oh, well, that's good. Peyton says he had a happy long life. All right, so let's see. I mean, I would probably, like I'm looking at one on Etsy that's got a, a Scotty dog and that one is up, I think I could go higher. I mean, it looks like the original price underneath it was like $80. So I don't know, I might try it in that $75 range and then just kind of see where it goes from there. I'll do a little more digging. Like I said, I did really fast research because I wanted to come talk to you. Because I did. Okay, next up, hang on, I'm out of order now. What happened? Uh, oh, 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 no, I'm not, okay. So this is another cool one. So take a look at this. And I was a theater nerd, so these drama masks were so unusual to me, right? So, and again, the light is really not letting you appreciate them very well. Because they've got these like tears uh, on the little eyes, he's got eyebrows, and this one has got really kind of an evil smile. Um, I, even though I was in theater, like the drama masks always, they always creep me out. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's that. And then it's got these marks in here that I looked up. It's like 80, it looks like it's in, I guess, I don't even know what it is. And it's got 86, and then Sterling, Mexico on here. Hencho in Mexico. So there's that. And I could not find the same exact one, um, but I found one that was, had the same style markings that was up for about $40. However, this is, you know, it's got, it's really unusual. And it's you know, got a really, I think somebody would really like this. So I might still, listed around that $45 mark. I might actually go a little high just to start with. I can't see what she had underneath it. Not that I can, but I, you know, go off of that, but it kind of gives me a, an, a direction, you know. So maybe I, I'll put it up for about $45 just because it's really unusual. And I might search it out a little bit more. I might do a little more digging on it. So that's cool. Oh, I should have kept a running total on what I thought I was gonna sell this all for so we could at the end figure it out. Again, another figural piece. That That's something I like. Um, the eagle mark, decorating yourself. It doesn't look like an eagle. It looks like a anvil or something almost. I don't know. I'll have to look at it closer. Okay, so next up, this is a, this is a fun one. It's another dog. However, it feels like there's something missing from it, okay? So here it is. Again, I think this was marked at five bucks as well, four or five. And it, look at this big cut down. The, I guess he's sitting, you know, I guess he's sitting down. It almost made me feel like there was a piece missing, but it's a really cool wooden carved Scotty dog. And he's got a collar and a chain. And then when we flip him over this, even though it's a C class, I don't, know that it's super duper old because I think you can buy these and like glue them onto pieces. However, I think that might be, the metal may be pressed down into the wood on those ones. I don't think, I'm not sure that this one's glued on. I'm not sure. Okay, so there's that. And I found some similar to him on um, when I just did, uh, oh gosh, Dan. <laughs> um, on um, when I do a Google search, because I start with a Google search and see if I find any images like it. And I found some, but yeah, I didn't find any that are sitting down <laughs> like this one is. But um, they're around $20. So I think that was a pretty good, pretty. it'll be a pretty good um, flip on this. Hang on, I pulled it up again. Let's see, I saw one similar on Ruby Lane, but it's got two dogs and they're, they're a little different. It was 35. So if I paid five bucks and it goes for around 20, then I think that's a pretty good, well, they found another one that's 40. So, and if you, again, if you think, oh, you know what? I think you can get more for that. Then sure, tell me. So there's that guy. And put that over there. And then next we have got, 
Yeah, I feel like we skipped one. I laid them all out in order, but we'll come back, I guess, in a minute and see if I skipped it. This is another one that I, I knew I wanted to bring home because I just loved it. And this is a sterling silver swan. And it is marked Lang, which is a jewelry maker, obviously. Um, so there's this. And I just loved her crown, her sweet little face. The details were really nice, um, really nicely made. And the even the class was a little bit different. I don't know if you can, let me I have to stand up so I can see the see it on the phone. There we go. So even the class, it, it doesn't, it's not spring loaded, you know what I mean? So it just, it's a little bit different, just really refined the way it's made. So there's that. And there is the, I think it's called a cartouche. I always second guess myself with Sterling Lang on it. And what does she have it at? 36? She had it at 36. So isn't it pretty? So, so elegant, right? What I wish I was, a beautiful, elegant swan, but I'm not. <laughs> um, so I'm seeing some up on Etsy, anywhere from the 25 to $45 range. So that is that one. I'll probably, depending on the research, I might go in the middle, you know, in the, in the 35, because it's quite a spread there. That's a good $20 difference. So maybe towards the $35, $37 for that. And again, that was probably about five bucks. Most of the stuff, she, when it didn't have like a little baggie with it, she was like, we'll call it five. That's five, that's five, that's five. <laughs> maybe I need to go back tomorrow with more cash. Only I don't have more cash, so never mind that. We'll just have to start selling some stuff. I know, Dan says Margaret's Magpie collecting shiny stuff. I totally am. But I've been doing so, if you follow my eBay store, my Etsy stores, I've been re doing really well. I've been listing. So, oh wait, this is not next. So yeah, <laughs> I will take it because I've been listing. So, and I, I am branching out some. If you've been watching some of my other eBay videos and stuff, I have been branching out of jewelry a little bit because... Mama's got to pay the bills. You know what I mean? All right, so here's another one that is old that I, again, if you have information on it, I would need it because I did some searching and I found a little bit, but not as much as I'd like. So it's 830 silver, so not 925. And then that's, I mean, other than the age, because again, you can see, you know, it's got the, the C, the C hook, the, stem it looks like it was replaced possibly and it might have been longer also because you can see it's kind of got that so it might have been even longer and then this this blue and green is this really really nice enamel and when I looked at it real close with the loop which I'm not sure 830 is Scandinavian okay I thought you know what when I did a search for this I did put in there um Danish so I think I was I was getting warmer because I had a feeling I was like I think it's like Danish style um so definitely okay so anyway yeah that um enamel was really nicely done and again I don't think you'll be able to see it with there's too much glare from the light um but I found something kind of like it okay 30 best Norwegian silver enamel pieces so I mean, it's it's the same style, but the ones that I'm seeing on, it's on Pinterest, of course, um, are way more elaborate and probably more expensive. They're gorgeous. But I'll do a little more digging on that. But I think, what did I say on price? Yeah, I, I'm going to reserve judgment on price because... Uh, I don't want to say too low. I know I'm not selling it right now, but some of the things I'm seeing that are up there are really, really pricey, but they're more ornate too. So I don't want to get my hopes up and they're like, it's going to be like $85 and then it's not, you know, so we'll see. We will see. And what would you call, I mean, I know it's a circle, but like, what would you call this shape, right? That's another thing I need to know. Like, how am I going to describe this circle? with knobs you know um so yeah there's that 
I mean, I definitely think this 28 might be um, low for it. Just personally, I think it's awesome. I think it's awesome. Oh, it does look like a shield, Dawn. Thank you. Captain's wheel. I thought that too, Rihanna. This is kind of like a captain's wheel. That would make sense for Scandinavian stuff, right? I guess they have a lot of water. <laughs> yep. Marius. I'm looking at, I'm on, on Pinterest. Marius Hammer Enamel. But I don't think that's what this is. But it looks really similar to some of this stuff. So I'll have to save this page. I'm going to put it on my desktop right now, even though you can't see it. <laughs> All right. So next up, let me close that out. And let's see, that's that. Close that out. Same deal. Okay, circular with beading, Cindy says. Yes, yes. All right, next, we've got some more figural stuff, and this guy's awesome. So we've got this really cool rooster, silver, enamel, and then this is this filigree, and y'all tell me, is that called, I always forget, and I think it's called Chantilly, but I second guess myself if I don't look it up. And he's got the C-clasp as well, and I did actually find one like him. She had him at 22, and then it says 12 on there. I'll, I'll, I'll average it everything out in a second but isn't he fun I really liked him and where did I find him do, do, do. okay there's one similar on worth point but he's got a gold wash that <laughs> yeah isn't he awesome that rooster is great right Peyton thank you uh hang on I know I found one just like him now of course yeah the I think it's the there it is filigree enamel rooster um Portugal, yeah. Theirs has got a little more enamel than mine, but they have it for $30. So I'll probably put them in that same kind of price range, right around 30 bucks. Yeah. Oh, hello, we have more friends coming in. <laughs> it's very pretty. Okay, then, da da da. Chantilly, okay, good. <laughs> I'm like, I always end up second guessing myself when I, cause you know me, I start making up words. <laughs> if I'm not sure, I'm like, it looks like an undercarriage. Let's call it that. <laughs> so, all right, this one I definitely need help on. Uh, this one, I loved it, and I can't find out anything about it. So, and I even tried looking. Okay, so it's, again, I thought Danish based on the ship. And it's got these purple stones. And if you look at the ship... The flags have got these X's, so that's something else. And they're, it's like almost like a Spanish galleon with the three masts, but then it's got this, I don't know. Oh my gosh, but it was so cool. And it was, well, she said $29, but that's not what I got it for. And there's the back. And then it as well has got that C clasp on it. So, hello, Tangerine Tango from Lubbock. Nice to see you. Uh, so any information on this one, again, would be super helpful because I, again, I did just a quick precursory search and, the th and like trying to describe it like ship, purple stones, uh, possibly Danish. Uh, I don't know that it's Danish though. The I, I, I tend to find more silver. So I don't know. Maybe I need to look. Oh, Peyton says it kind of looks like a check piece. That's that would be interesting. And that's the thing. No, there's no marking on the stem either. Hmm. However, it looks like I wonder if it was replaced. I wonder if you can see it along there. Like the stem, this part. Like if it's soldered something new on there. I will look along the pin shaft and under the hinge for a check mark. Okay, let me go look. I am opening her up to see what I can see. Get my loop over here. I see nothing. It doesn't look... <clears throat> I'm so curious about this. Hang on. Let me move the string. I'm trying to see if there's something written under the string. Now that you're looking at nothing, I'm keeping you looking at nothing. Okay. 
I will, <clears throat> pardon me again, <clears throat> I will do another, is it an anchor on the front? Let's see if I can hold it up for y'all a little better. What do you think? Maybe I need to do, I don't think it's an anchor. I'll do a little more digging, but I still think it's definitely worth the five bucks. So sometimes they're not marked, but if they are, they, they can be tiny paintings. Sweet. Okay. Yeah. I'll do a little more cause it looks really cool, right? Super fun piece. All right. Next. I feel, I feel like I for sure skipped one, um, was this one, which I think the lady might have, she gave it to me for, what was it? I think, well, I think she said originally 10. Um, ah, guess what I did? I just turned off the thing. There we go. So, um, but she was like, I think it's just like Mexican silver, but then it is marked CC. So I think that is a Native American mark on that. So I, I found one Native American, um, silversmith that is marked CC. I'm sure there's more, but his mark was a little bit different. So yeah, that's what I thought. So when she was like 10 bucks, I was like sold. I've been selling my turquoise really fast lately. So if you've got turquoise that you haven't listed, start listing it. And then that looks like maybe a piece of coral in there. So, um, yeah, I think, what did I, I think I was going to put on it. <clears throat> Pardon me. I mean, probably, gosh, tell me what you think. <laughs> you, wait, you came here to hear me tell what I thought, not the other way around. Uh, so maybe around 70 bucks in that in that price range is kind of what I'm thinking I've seen some that are less so I see one that's up that's like 50 bucks so I don't know you that's the thing like you never know till you ask <laughs> right I know that's what I thought Peyton like 10 bucks I'm sold put it in my bag so yeah I wish I if they yeah it's probably better that they didn't take card because I had my PayPal card with me and I probably would have gotten more stuff. So yeah, maybe 60, 70, somewhere in there. Um, I'm looking in the chat. Rhiannon says, reasonable as long as the stones are real, you could go 90, yeah. Oh yeah, Cindy says, Native American has gone up in value, thinking close to 100. Yeah, for sure. Okay, and it is big, that's another perk, because some people really like those big like knuckle rings that get, really long. I that one's not so bad, but sometimes when I wear them they, they dig in. But that one's not not too bad. So cool. So that I mean if that if I do end up putting that up for hire, this could pay for the, the lot of it all. Cool deal. This is true. This is true. Okay. Decorating yourself says go hundred and see. And then the next one, now I have to go back because I know I skipped, I must have closed a window out, is this one. This was five bucks as well. It was in this bag here. Um, and this one is, again, not marked, but this one definitely had that Danish modern look to it to me. Um, it's marked Sterling. I'll flip it over in just a second. And they had it for $29.95. I'm gonna have to clean it a little bit because it's got, again, it looks like toothpaste. You know what I mean? It's not very, it's, it, I don't know. Maybe it's something they cleaned it with. I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, it's marked sterling there. Can you see that? There we go. But I'm not seeing any other marks on it, maker's marks. And then these are like glass, I think, yeah. Stone. And there is the super long pin and it goes into the ring over here. If I can open it there. Cool. So that one is pretty cool and I couldn't find one like it either. It's like a branch, <laughs> you know, it's modernistic, Danish modern, Danish modern. There you go. Looking. And Erica says, look like, it looks like gem appetite. Oh, okay. I'll have to look that over. I mean, I don't know if my tester tests for that. I'm feeling on it. They're really pretty though, aren't they? 
And once I clean up, there's like a little spot there. Once I clean it, it'll... I don't do a whole lot of cleaning to my jewelry, my sterling, unless it... I don't know. That just kind of stands out. Willis is aquamarine. Yeah, I'll definitely um, pull the tester out and see what, what it shows. But it looked old. It looked cool. And price range, I'm thinking... Let me see... See, I saw one up that was not exactly like it, but 15. And I'm like, dude, I'm going to do more than 15. I'll check it for sure. Cindy says, um, glass question mark. I'll, I'll check the check those. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I will for sure uh, let you know. I'll test them out and let you know. It's really pretty though, right? So, again, I, I some of the Danish modern stuff can go for good money. So, I hate to, oh, I don't know. I'm scrolling because I couldn't find anything like it. I just have to do a better search, I think. Blue, Danish modern brooch. Let's do that real fast. Yeah, I can't find anything like it <laughs> because it's so unusual, right? Um, oh, wait, there's something. Well, that's kind of like it. Yeah, what's that going for? 95 bucks, something similar-ish, but it's got more of a different stone in it. Okay, so there's that. And then I've got two more pieces to share with y'all. Um, these, I apparently closed out the, um, the window, if I can think. And it's got these little guys, sterling, it says. And I don't know what the price was on that. But these are some screwback earrings like this. And I'm pretty sure they were Mexico. Yeah, Hincho, Mexico. And I, I think I saw some that were kind of similar for maybe around the $20 range. So that's probably what those will go at. And then finally, I got this necklace right there, which I thought was so sweet. This nice little like kind of Art Nouveau. And <laughs> let's see, I'm gonna quiz the chat. Anybody, <laughs> I'm gonna show you the, the clasp. Let's see if anybody can guess the, the brand. Can you see the glass? I can't see if you can see. There. Ah! Now the ring is over it. There. All right, anybody? <laughs> oh, wait. And that's too far over. Okay, I'm, I'm almost positive somebody there knows what this one is. Oh, it's blurry. Oh, no. So if you can see, the um, spring ring hooks into an A. So this brand is marked, on the, on the little A, it's marked Artistry. And Artistry is put out by Amway, which I learned today. I didn't know this. So um, I still think it's really pretty, and I still think, you know, it's vintage, and we'll be able to sell. And... I'm trying to turn this thumb tag over, but I can't grab it. Uh, it looks like they had it up for maybe $36. They, they colored over the tag, so. Um, but I got it, I don't know exactly how much I got it for. But I'll probably end up, I couldn't find this exact one. Can y'all see it? No, y'all can't even see it. Y'all supposed to let me know. <laughs> um, I, let's see. I don't know, like what would you put this at? It's really pretty. So maybe like $40? What do you think? I mean, it's gold filled. It's 12 karat gold filled. Hey, Tom, how are you? How's the baby? Oh, that's such a cute baby. <laughs> so, yeah, it's gold filled. So, um, the style of it is so pretty that, that I could probably get 40 bucks for it, I think. I may be dreaming, but you can let me know if I'm dreaming. I'm going to dream big. All right, let's bring all of the, the friends out here so you can see them again, and I'll zoom back out. Boop, boop, boop. All right, how old is the baby now, Tom? Is he six months by now? He's gotta be six months. Is he sleeping? Are you sleeping? Is your wife sleeping? <laughs> all right, so we've got all this stuff. Let me know what was your favorite. What's What would definitely come home with you if you had come across this estate sale? And da, da, da. 
let's see. I'm going to say hey in the chat again or bye or whatever in a second. Just pulling everything back out to make a mess. There. Okay. Um, yeah. So let me know what would you have picked up? What would you like personally like? I would have kept that for myself. Or I would not have walked out. And I did take video footage here. So later, <laughs> I'll, have the, I'll edit it. And you'll, you'll be able to see all the stuff I left behind. Because there was a ton of stuff. Really pretty, really cool stuff that I left behind. I couldn't take it all. I had to pick and choose. So, um, oh, thanks. All right. So there we have it. Um, go down there. Leave a comment if you're watching later. And let me know which you enjoyed. Which one was your fave. And I don't know what my profit's going to be. But I definitely will make my $85 back. I think if, even just on the ring, I'll get close. So, yay. <sighs> Let's see. Yeah, Rihanna says, love most of it. Wouldn't have picked a few things, but most of it's great. And isn't it funny? Like, sometimes you get it back home. It was dark in there, too. Just to say. Like, I didn't, I didn't notice the, the tarnish on the back of that one. Because it was so dark in there. And I did have my phone out. And she was like, do you want a loop? Or do you want some? And I was like, no, no, I'll just use my phone. Um, but it was, it was pretty dark. Yeah. All right. So thanks for coming to watch, everybody. And I'm so glad I got to come on live. Because I haven't been able to come on live in a little while. Um, I did get other things while I was out today. So I might do a live video tomorrow. Like a haul video with um, the rest of the stuff that I got. So if you're interested, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And we can talk more about what all I'm going to sell and how much I'm going to sell it for. And I will see you guys later. Have a really good evening, everybody.